Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Saturday, February 1st, 2020. Got a free pick in college basketball coming up in a moment. Hey, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video. Get set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages at DocSports.com or anybody else on the roster. Again, it's a free $60 account. Great way to give DocSports a trial run. Click on the link in the description box below this video. Got a free pick in college coming up in just a moment. Don't forget to check out all the free prop videos that I've had in the Super Bowl thus far. Three or four. Price is still good on most of those. And we're going to have a couple more. We'll have at least one more on Saturday night for Sunday. And then we'll throw another one out there on Sunday during the day, well before the Super Bowl kicks off. So you have a chance to check it out. So two more videos to come regarding the Super Bowl. Now my five top plays for Sunday Super Bowl 54 are all available right now at DocSports.com. Side and total, top three props. There's a seven star in the mix. And uh, again, it's available right now at DocSports.com. All five plays in the same package. And uh, we're on a 59% run with the last 13 football weeks over at DocSports.com. We look to finish up strong on Sunday. Also, college basketball, I passed on Friday. Friday, uh, but we are 6-0 our previous three cards. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 6-0 in college basketball. We're 62% against the spread in college basketball with our last 65 college hardwood sides. That goes back into December. Don't miss out. Multi-game college basketball card on Saturday included a big play, including a seven-star play on Saturday's card. You'll want to grab that. It'll be available Saturday morning, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time anytime after that for Saturday's college basketball card. NBA and NHL, uh, that post at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific daily, again over at DocSports.com. I did have a basketball play last night, and we've been red hot, uh, but as of right now, and listen, I'm as candid as it gets. We talked about this game on Visa on Friday afternoon, and I mentioned that I was going to put a few bucks on the Lakers. I liked them in this spot, even though the price was a premium. You were laying a couple of points more than you normally would because of the emotions and all that went with it. Uh, but again, it was a situation where I thought they'd come out with a little bit of focus and effort. As of right now, uh, they're trailing late in the third quarter as I cut this video. And yeah, I don't care if they were laying six or seven. It doesn't look like they're going to even get to that point of covering a number that would have been half of this. There's a, not a whole lot of effort and focus, and I get it, uh, the reasons why, but not a whole lot of effort and focus on the defense defensive end tonight for the Lakers and you know maybe the legs were just taken out from under them with that pregame ceremony but uh, so that's what we did in the NBA last night we ended up going 0-1 we passed in college basketball it's been a great run uh, for over a month now in college basketball and uh, again we will have the seven star plus other college basketball plays available at 11:30 a.m. Eastern 8:30 a.m. Pacific and by the way we went into Friday and I'll total this all up on Saturday night for Sunday's video uh, because our games aren't final here on Friday but we went into Friday 51.6 stars on our current run over the past six days going into Friday. That's how hot it's been. So check us out on Saturday, all the plays over at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to our free pick for today. We're going to turn to college basketball action in the Pac-12. Oregon Ducks at the Stanford Cardinal. A lot of times I jump in on Stanford here or a team like Stanford that has lost three games in a row and looks sluggish in doing so. At one point, they were up near the top of the standings in the Pac-12. Now it's Oregon that's taken over the mantle. And so there's times when I would jump in here on Stanford, but I think it's all been baked into the number. It's one and a half for the most part. There are some twos out there. Oregon being a small road favorite. I just don't like Stanford in this spot. I don't trust what they've been doing on the offensive end. They've been sluggish. They haven't been scoring a lot of points during their three-game skid. Offensive issues, rebounding, and conference play has not been good. In fact, according to Ken Palm, Stanford is 310th in offensive rebound percentage. How about 300th in turnover per uh, percentage on the offensive end? And then on the flip side, you got Oregon, who, who normally just takes care of business this time of year. And in fact, they're on a 17-5 and spread run against teams playing better than 600 basketball on the season. Very impressive. They've won four in a row. They're back atop the Pac-12, which is where they should be. And Peyton Pritchard's been playing extremely well, one of the leaders on the offensive end. And by the way, this team, they are 15th in the country in offensive effective field goal percentage. I know it looks like 
like one of those spots where you're going, okay, Stanford's lost the win in a row, got to jump in on him here against a, a good Oregon team. But I, I don't think I'm going to do that here. I think I got to go with Oregon. I don't think I am recommending to play a free pick on the Oregon Ducks on the road. Again, laying one and a half to two over the Stanford Cardinal. All right, listen, that's going to do it for me for Saturday. I will be back here Saturday night, hopefully by 10 p.m. Pacific time. We'll have another Super Bowl prop video. We'll have another basketball video for Sunday. So be sure to check it out. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites for DocSports.com. Let's put Saturday in the win column right back here late Saturday night with Sunday's report.